Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bitsby tripping in the studio. It's like eight o'clock at night. So we were trying to get a video to you guys today, but we've been crazy busy trying to get this stuff done. You guys can see we are working on a couple different rigs here. This is an old Zotac 1050 Ti. So we've got kind of labels here if we have a fan that's kind of going on in that one. But this is a 13 card Zotac 1050 Ti rig that I'm doing some testing with. So later, my mi latest miners, we're looking at about 386 mega hash on Ergo. And just trying to see, you know, what's this kind of rig and some of the newer algorithms look at. And we're looking at about 700 watts. So again, this was a no six pin. These cards required no six pin. They run purely off the, the six pin power. And this whole rig's using about 700 watts. And we're looking here in our config on that setup here. And when we look at like Ergo with that much juice and setup here, you guys can see this is current setting. So it's gonna earn about 40 Ergo in 30 days, about $129. And depending on power, you're gonna be left with about a hundred bucks. So and then here's our setup for Ravencoin. So Ravencoin's earning about 500 Ravencoin and that's you know that's in seven days about 20 bucks right now at five cents per raven coin and about two thousand a month if the hash rate for raven stays around that three tera hash and that's what you're going to be looking at and we can come over here and switch this real quick to raven coin All right, this thing's getting just about about 78 to 80 mega hash for this build. And lastly, some folks would be remiss if I did not show us some flux numbers. Now, these are not really killer numbers for flux. I mean, 13.1 to 10 per card. And we're looking at, again, around that 700 watt usage uh, for these machines. So, uh, you know, 140 hash total for flux. Uh, we can see real quick, just to see if it changed any there. Yeah, about 130 to 8 uh, on Flux itself. Now for Ethereum Classic, that would have been, uh, you know, essentially earning one every seven days or so with this machine. Every uh, 24 hours, about 0. 0.6. And for an entire month, almost five Ethereum Classic at, you know, after you pay for power, about 95 to a little bit less, $75 if you had really expensive power per month of revenue. Now, if we look at the flux, same thing, uh, about 60 flux total for a month, about 15 per week in total. So, so some people probably wonder like, why would you mine for not very much, you know, USD value? And it all comes back down to like, you got to understand for when these machines were built. I'm, I like using these machines as an example. So this 1050 TI rig mined Ethereum uh, back when those 1050 TIs came out. So we're talking 2017 timeframe. And that machine was 175 mega hash uh, machine back in Ethereum back then. And that one single machine, as an example, uh, could have mined over that much time over five and a half ETH uh, by itself, right? Uh, and if you did it for the entire time, that thing would be responsible for mining nearly 20 ETH. And it's the same kind of thing now, to ETH being $25 to $2,700, that if Ravencoin, you're mining, you know, something like 2,200 Ravencoin, and right now it's five cents, well, at its peak, it was 25 to 27 cents. And 27 cents at 2,200 coins per month is a pretty decent return of investment. And you get a lot of Ravencoin that if you're gonna be using that in the ecosystem, minting new assets, creating new NFTs, as that is an example, it gives you a lot to be able to do and use those type of uh, resources. Um, that's the main piece that I wanted to convey here is that yield is everything. Um, and in an ecosystem that's growing and a space that's growing and understanding, having that uh, ability to 
participate as new coins come out and stuff with one of these mining rigs. I'm not saying go out there and put a thousand of these things out there. I'm saying that anybody that's been mining and continues to mine and is hedging on that opportunity, um, that's why we do it. That's why we continue to do it. Why I try to educate people upholding these networks, secure and proof of work networks in general for people to develop and build on top of. Uh, and we are compensated in the token. So, you know, it's, uh, it's an opportunity. Um, I look at it as an opportunity. Again, not financial advice, just showing you what the hardware does. So this is a quick one for you guys. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all that kind of fun stuff. We have so much coming up. It's ridiculous. So we got a couple other builds. These are the um, P106s, uh, the, the three gig cards. And I know we got some eight gig versions of these running around somewhere are the five gig versions sorry um on the gtx 1070 equivalents these are the 1060 equivalents and then you know some red devil 580s here and some 1080s uh no these are 1070s and then we got some 1080 i think we got some 1080s up here 1080s or 1080 ti's up here and we'll be doing some flux and some other stuff with those too. So you guys stay tuned. We're going to be getting doing a lot of GPU stuff the rest of this week. And then into next week, we're going to have a whole series on some ASIC stuff. We got an L7 coming. We got a S19 Pro, J Pro that we're going to sink in some immersion. You guys can't beat this. You can't not not see this. So like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one.